Hey everyone, it's Em. Um, I'm bored, so I thought I'd come on and chat with you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> wow, I had a good workout in that pool, I'll tell you. I water walked and my thighs hurt now. Ooh, I can feel it. <laughs> um, and I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. It felt really good. And I did all my leg lifts. Um, that is where I stand on the side of the... No, I'm in the water. And I hold one arm onto the side. And then I lift my leg in front of me and then swing it all the way to the back of me and I tried to get my toes out of the water both directions and then I take it from um, like I take my right leg to the pool wall and then all the way out to the side and I try to break the water um, when I go out to the side and I switch and I do the same thing on the other side I did about 25 in every direction I could go. <laughs> then I did the water walking and I did that for a long time. And I do lunges in the water. Yeah. I do lunges in the water all the way from one side of the pool down to the other side of the pool and back. And I did that several times. And then I do side lunges in the water. I do the whole workout routine. And let me tell you, already, I can't, and we were in the pool for three hours, just so you know. <laughs> no, I didn't water walk the whole time, but I did for a long time. Um, you know, and I also did my crunches, um, my stomach crunches. Hmm, yeah. I did 50 of the ones where I lay out flat and crunch in and then I did 25 on each side of my work of my side abs so that was pretty cool <clears throat> and by the time I got done with the 25 I was like oh, I feel it <laughs> oh. um, yeah uh, and I used to do 50 on each side and then do it a second time yeah I'm not doing that now I'll work back up there um, then, um, there's, some, there's somebody sitting in front of my apartment. Oh, wait, no big deal. It's only time, right? No, then I did, um, so I did 25 on each side, 50 flat. Um, traffic jam. Um, and, and then I was swimming and playing and, um, you'll never believe what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbor was leaving. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah. So then I was swimming and playing with my kid, but believe it or not, believe it or not, last year, for the first time last year, I learned how to swim underwater with goggles on. <laughs> I have to have goggles on because I can't stand the water to get up my nose, and then I instantly have sinus issues. So yeah, I look beautiful and sexy in them goggles, let me tell you. <clears throat> yeah. But I learned how to stand on my hands and do a handstand under the water and do flips, um, front flips. I can't do back flips. I, I can do back flips, but I'm scared to do back flips. 
I know that if I really tried I could do it, but it freaks me out so I don't. Um, so yeah, I was doing that up there too. Why not? I have fun. Um, it was, it was pretty fun. I am so excited that the pool is open. I'm just tickled to death. I love it. Um, so, I have the oven heating up right now. And, um, did I mention that I can fill it in my thighs and my butt? Mm -hmm. Those lunges, oh my. Those lunges, they will get you, I'm telling you. Um, oh, and I also did push-ups on the side of the pool. Um, where I'm in the water, I stand back, put my back legs back, and then I push up on the side, do push-ups. Uh, and, of course, all this is done in the very shallow end, because the more shallow of water that you are water walking in, the harder the exercises are. Like, the more... What do you want to say? The more advanced, the more the more you're going to fill it. You get a better workout. You burn more calories if you are in the shallow end. And so I stay at the very, right at the end of the steps. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can fill my sinuses today. Um, but anyways, it was fabulous. It was really, really a good workout. Um, <clears throat> and I just can't wait to do it again tomorrow. So I have the oven heating, and I'm going to try a new chicken marinade tonight. I've already marinated the chicken. I got them on the... I got... Uh, I hear something. Um, got them on the cookie sheet. This marinade that I am going to try is... It says it's garlic and herb garlic and herb because I love garlic um but you add lemon juice I hate lemon oh I don't need I don't drink lemonade I don't put lemon in tea I don't drink water with lemon in it no way mm -mm. ain't about to happen but <laughs> But this marinade, this garlic and herb, said to add a half cup of lemon juice. So I did. And I put my chicken in it. I was hesitant, but I did it. Um, and I, 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 this stupid thing, package doesn't tell me what to preheat the oven at. Doesn't tell me if I have to preheat the oven. Doesn't tell me how long to cook the chicken. I have no flipping clue because I don't cook. Um, I feel like somebody's got um, a needle running a needle up my head and around this eyeball and like even hitting the side of my eyeball from sinuses so if you're seeing me go like this now and then it's why it's cause it's Kind of like when you go to the dentist, which I really need to go to the dentist. We don't even want to talk about that. Ooh. But, you know, when they give you that shot and it feels like it shoots up your face. Well, that's what this feels like, but it's my sinuses doing it. But anyways, there's no, I don't have no clue. I don't have any clue how to, how long to cook this marinade, or how long to cook this marinated chicken. <sighs> well... I just picked a number. <laughs> I can't wait for responses from you all because it's going to take a long time for this to upload. My kiddo and me are starving after this um, pool experience. This three hours in the pool today. And so I have the oven heating and I chose 425. Is that even close? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you at all. I'm not, there's there's like three numbers that I know that you use on the oven. 325. Excuse me. 320. No. Yeah. Is that right? No, there's four settings that I know. 325, 350, 400, and 425. 
450. Like, I know, like, those numbers, but I have no idea, like, <clears throat> what you use it, you know, for. What? I have no clue. I really don't want to know either, because, you know, I just don't cook. <laughs> if I do know, then I really have to cook more often, and I really don't want to cook more often. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I chose 425, and I'm going to stick it in there. Um, I am a stickler on meat being very well cooked. Hopefully I don't dry this stuff out and it turns like shoe leather. But you know, that's probably what's going to happen to me. I'm going to be eating shoe leather tonight for dinner. And I'm going to make some green beans out of a can. I don't have any fresh ones. I love fresh green beans, but different story. But that's what I'm having tonight. And um, I bought a watermelon, um, and I have hated watermelon my entire life. Hated watermelon until last year. Last year, for some unknown reason, I bought a slice. Just you, you can buy a slice of watermelon in the store now and then. Well, this had like four little triangles, little triangles of watermelon in it, and I bought it and I loved it. Tastes really do change when you get older. Another thing that I really like is um, soy sauce now. I hated soy sauce my entire life and all of a sudden we had um, Mongolian beef, which wasn't Mongolian beef because we used chicken. We did it. Frank did. I didn't cook it. I can't even begin to tell you how to make that one. Um, and then there was soy sauce and um, we tried it and I liked it. It did. It's pretty good. So, craziness, but, um, hopefully, no shoe le Oh, so we bought this watermelon. Bought a whole watermelon. And, Frank's like, well, we'll cut a third of it tonight. And I'm like, yeah, that'd be a good dessert. We cut a third of it. And then he kept more of it. And I had a big chunk of it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how good watermelon is for you, I'll be honest. I, mean, I was told that watermelon is a great thing to um, eat, that it's not high in sugar like a lot of fruit. And um, it's very juicy, but the juice is almost like water. So it was a very good, good thing for you to have. So um, I ate a big chunk of it. And then he ate a lot. Of watermelon. That man can put some watermelon away. I went back in there and it was half gone. I was like, yeah, so much for cutting a third of it. Um, but hey, it's okay. And so that's what I've been having for like a dessert. Um, instead of other things. Here comes people. So, um, everybody hang in there. I'm going to get off here because it's getting busy out here. I'm going to finish my dinner cook up my chicken hopefully no shoe leather please no shoe leather <laughs> oh, green beans and then I'm going to take kiddo and the dog for a walk my kids gonna sleep well tonight so I hope that you all got up and was moving around and doing stuff let me know what you're up to um I want to hear, are you walking, are you bicycling, are you stationary bikes, are you doing aerobic classes, what are y'all doing? Fill me in, I want to know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks to everybody who has shared my videos. I love you all very much. That is just so sweet. I, I appreciate that so greatly. Um, and for all of you who are leaving me fantastic comments, I'm being so encouraging and sweet. Um, I know I've told you all a lot, but it really does, it just means so much to me. And I know that there are times when I would give up had you not commented. So, thanks a lot. Y'all take care. Don't give up. Keep moving. Drink your water. And I'll chat with you later. Bye.